Hi CDC friends, Miss Michelle here with my helper Leah today. And we just read Worm Weather. And now we're gonna do a craft to go along with Worm Weather. So what you need for this craft, you need crayons, in particular, a white crayon. So we have our white crayon. You need a white piece of paper. You need some watercolor paints and a cup of water with some paint brushes. Some craft glue. And we're going to use pink um, pipe cleaners, but you could also use yarn. And you'll need some scissors. All right, so the first step, we're gonna do crayon resist painting today. And so our first step to go along with warm weather is we're gonna think of a scene from the book or just in general when we think of warm weather and we're gonna draw those things on our paper. So you might wanna draw some clouds with your white crayon. You might wanna draw some grass. What else, Leah? Lightning bolts. Lightning bolts. We read about lightning in our warm weather book, right? Anything else? Rain. Yep, and rain, exactly, and puddles. So that's what we're gonna get started with right now. We're gonna do that part. All right, ready? Let's go draw, Leah. Okay, so we drew our scenes. Now you can't see them because we drew them in white but I drew clouds in the sky and then a lot of rain coming down and I drew some grass down here at the bottom and then I also included the stump that they talk about in the book. What did you include, Leah? I drew clouds, lightning bolts, grass, and puddles. I love it. So now we're gonna take our paint brushes that are dipped in the water and we're gonna use our paints and we're gonna paint our pictures. I'm gonna use the brown. I'm gonna start with that to paint my stump. Okay, so I have painted my picture. And look, now you can see my clouds and the rain and the grass on the bottom and my tree stump, like the tree stump from the book. So after you paint your picture, you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. And when your picture is dry, you then can add your worms. So we have some pink pipe cleaner. If you have pink yarn, you could use that. So you're gonna to wanna to ask your adult for help with some cutting. So we're gonna cut a few pieces of our pipe cleaner. Oh, and there's Leah's. Let's show yours. Oh, it looks wonderful. Thank you. All right, so here are three worms for you. And I'll take three worms. And you can just bend your worms so they look like a worm. <laughs> and then take your glue and you're going to glue them onto your paper. So let's see. Here, I'm going to put one of my worms down here. I'm going to add my second worm. And then I'll let you do it, Lee, okay, while I'm showing mine. Use some glue for Leah. She's going to add her worms. Okay. And now we have some worms on our art. And maybe this week, if it rains, you can go outside and see if you see any worms in your yard or on your driveway. Do you want to show yours? 
that you have before we go? Uh, I guess. Do you want a little more glue? Yeah. Use plenty of glue. You gotta hold your wormies on. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's gotta be like this. <laughs> All right, so that is our warm weather art activity. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you see some worms this week, because I know we're going to be on the lookout for some worms in my house. Bye, friends.